Hello and welcome to me and my golf TV. We're here in Scotland on our golfbreaks.com tour, sort of. Yes, uh, it is. It's one of those, isn't it? So we are now at Carnoustie, Andy. Carnoustie. The wind is blowing, as you'd expect in Scotland. <laughs> and we're playing one of the toughest uh, golf courses on the open road. So it's going to be an interesting course, Mark. One not to be missed. Take charge of your game. Okay Play then. Well then Pierce. Play well. I think he's just left of the marker, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, he's done exactly what he said. He just bumbled it down there. Good shot. Okay, Pierce, four iron. Our shot, a little bit higher than mine, but it's down there. Pretty much down the centre of the fairway. That was good. Yeah, lovely shot there. To the top. And we're away. Go. Right, Pierce. Good position there. Left yourself a nice little uh, view to the flag, which is just there. Right out of room by one inch, I think. <laughs> yeah, left yourself a nice little left yourself flag there. Yard, what yard have we got there? 139. And breeze. Okay. That's be a pitching wedge. We're picking up one of the It'll be a gap wedge, but if I smash it in the air, it's going to be a bit easier. It's almost like a pitch. Pitching wedge. You're going left of the flag. Okay. Good line in, but it'll be hard to stop the ball from here. You know what? It's well short, but it could run on. It'd be perfect. So you can see from the flag there how windy this is, Andy. Just gone through the back. Looks like he's got his 52 there. Back into the breeze, obviously. Be interesting to see what actually happens to this ball when he hits it as regards. Will it run out? You'd think not with that much loft. This is an exceptionally hard, difficult golf course. Looking forward to the challenges it offers. This is it right up in the air. Yeah. Not bad at all. Played it solid. Okay, so Pierce has eight iron. Little chip and run here. Okay, with the wind, really, you are best off just getting out of the ground as quick as you can. Contours do the work. Greens look nice. And he gets it. There we go. No problem. no problem. Going to be interesting today, Andy, isn't it? I think this is going to be a different test compared to what we've seen over the, over the few days where we've played the Fairmont and Kings Barn. So um, this is a bit breezier. I think it's going to be harder. Almost course. ugly shots work around here, don't they? Sort of bunting it loads along yeah. the ground. Yeah, you can't. It's not really sort of getting the ball in the air so much. It's really yeah. getting it rolling. 
and you know, like you say, taking out the uh, the aerial shots and getting it on the ground rather such, than such a good challenge, isn't it? I think that's yeah, it's a test different skills. We're level past, should we go? Yeah, let's go. Let's <laughs> finish. Done. Right then, Andy, we have just met Steve all the way from the United States on the 18th. Very complimentary of the videos. Thank you, Steve. So, bunkers down the left, bunkers down the right, Andy's ball down the middle. Oh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to start it just right at that left bunker. Wind's off the left, so hopefully that wind's going to push it back to the middle of that fairway. Okay, so two iron, 407 into the wind, hard off the left. Andy, stay there. <laughs> Ball stay there and Andy stay there. Okay, Pierce, two iron on as well. Two iron on. Straight over the same line, the wind, you know what? Exactly the same as that. Yeah. Must need a little bit of a draw to hold it up, don't you? Yeah, definitely. You can ride the wind though a little bit, it's going to push it towards uh, the hole. Yeah. And there's that little bit of a draw, it's keeping straight, might get it now as it tails. Just over that bunker. Perfect. Ooh. I just ran out of room actually, maybe it wasn't perfect. Okay, Pierce, pretty steady shot there, just run out into the rough. Yeah. 177. <coughs> Let's have a little close up of the green. Left of the hole there, so bunker to the right. Short. There's a big bunker there, but this isn't going to go anywhere near that. Of course not. What have you got, mate? 177, 8 iron, believe it or not, even though it's downwind off the left. Not even a full 8 iron. No, it's a smooth one of those. Little, little, little draw, really. Not the ideal spot, actually. Wind helping off the left. Probably a bit of a fly or lie. Yeah, definitely. Little bunter. Beautiful looking golf shot that in. Let's get thick down, baby. Close up. Life is dark because that pitch pin high. Okay, Andy, 149. There's my ball back right. Much better line in for Andy here. Use the contours of the fairway to get his golf ball. Almost like slingshotted it round the hole, didn't you? With that wind yeah. and the contours. That's control of your ball flight, ladies and gentlemen. That's good, that one. Okay, right. 149, I've got a wedge. That's a senior fit. So 149 wedge. Going left. Left of the flag. Probably could pitch this on the front edge. I'm sure you'll be looking to do that. That would happen, would you? No. I didn't see. Did it pitch on the green as well? Uh, I think literally just on the front of the green. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so mine pitched well on the green because there was probably 20 yards before where my ball is. Um, left myself an uphill putt. Pierce is up the back of the green there, coming back down. So that's going okay. So downhill. It's probably got about 50 foot here at least. A bit of right to left. Into the breeze with downhill, so interesting to see how the uh, speed is on this one. And he's got it going on a fantastic line. Oh. Just left it short. Yeah, I know it was going to go. Yeah, I thought that was going to pick up speed down there. Right then. Okay, Andy's got around about 35 feet up the hill. He's giving it a good putt. No. <laughs> He's drained a monster. 
drained a monster. Happy with that putt? That was alright, wasn't it, that? Not bad, eh? Easy 40 foot there. Yeah, so a good view of your putt now from here. Follow that one. Follow that one, yes. It looks good. Oh, there we go. I need to get the ball closer though, Andy. <laughs> Yeah, you don't want too many more of those, Pierce. <laughs> I'll be aging. I'll be, I'll be looking 50 by the time I finish this video. There are a few more grey hairs at the end of the day. <laughs> So we've skipped over to the sixth hole now. This is Hogan's Alley, as you've just seen. So basically, Mr. Hogan in 1953, when majority of people were sort of hitting it down the right and being safe, just over those bunkers maybe, he was hitting it on that tight fairway line there between the fairway bunker and the outer bounds. And guess what? Proudman's Alley. It's actually Alley. a ma massive insult to Mr. Hogan, so. <laughs> but Andy's, I reckon, is gonna go down there as well. We've discussed it. We're going to do our best to follow Mr. Hogan. Oh, that's tremendous. Slightly left side, just underneath Andy's cheek. <laughs> it's tight, but it's down Hogan's alley. Okay, Pierce, follow that one then. Okay. And that's a boomer. Let's see if I can get it. It's going to be finishing. It's probably a, one of the best drives of the last yeah, few well, days. That is Pierce. It's a good hit. Very good hit. Made this hole short now. Okay, Andy, 191. You slightly down the left. We've got a good line into the flag here. Look is right. Yeah. Bunker's left. Nothing short though. You know what, I'm going with the A line here. See, I, I'll see if quite lost it. Well, will it fly? Will it get fly out? Yeah. It's going to bounce, roll downwind. I'm not even, you know, I don't even think that you've got to hit it hard. Proper link shot, isn't it? Downwind. Out the rough, it's using the contours. Bunker or has it gone over it? It looked like it went over the bunker, but I don't oh, know. In the air over the bunker? Maybe. It looked like it. Okay. Nice drive there, Pierce. That was a super drive. Nice one. So 163 to the flag. Yeah. Pitching wedge. Pitching wedge, yeah. I think, I think the green hopefully is soft enough. I'm, I'm going to land it on the front edge. Yeah, I think so. I think you can hit this hard and it'll grab. Yeah. Pierce is uh, in the back of the green there, he's got 60 degree in the rough. Back into the breeze. Thought to be a little bit aggressive with this really. Go baby! It's the danger there of hitting it into that breeze with that loft. Like I say, you could really go hard at that. That might have checked up a bit more there, Andy. The Kellen Pierce birdie chance. It'd be a nice birdie, wouldn't it? Faffing around a bit. It'd be a faffing birdie. We'll 
still take those. Ran on past. Pretty, uh, even though it went past fast, it's probably been pretty quick coming back down here. Plums into the middle on the screen. All the banks go down to the middle. Just maybe slightly misread it. Yeah, definitely a misread that was. Misread? Oh, okay. You're allowed them every now and then. Don't do it again. Put a pause on Hogan's Alley after oh, some good tee shots. Ah, for those tee shots, we should be making birdie, but maybe, maybe downwind we with a 200 yard shot almost. Not always easy. No. Okay, so that's the end of part one of our Carnoustie course vlog here in Scotland on, on our mini tour with golfbreaks.com. If you want to play here, make sure you go and check those guys out. Absolutely, guys. Now, also check out the rest of the videos we've done. We've done the Fairmonts, we've done Kings Barnes, we've done Glen Eagles. Amazing trip this has been so far. Guys, if it's the first time you've seen us, hit the subscribe button. It allows you to interact with us and also check out part two at meandmygolf.com. We hope you enjoy it. Big thank you to Carnage to you as well. They've been fantastic staff here, are amazing. Cheers, guys.